Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of TFG Radio. Uh, tonight, myself, Adam, as almost always, I think at this point. Tonight we have Danny. Hey, 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 hey. Uns- hey. Unseen, but still heard. And this week, we, this episode, we have always. John. I'm not on the wheels of steel, because we are pre-recording. Yeah. So John gets a day nope. off. Pre-recording. <laughs> I love slacking off. Tell you spring what. break, right? Boy, Thanks I tell on. you what. Tom is not with us. This is, uh, he has no dedication. Uh, plus, I think he's with the yeah, family. I think, I think he'd rather be here. <laughs> <laughs> Than be with family? I mean, <laughs> well, then be at the wedding. I mean, weddings are a hassle. Oh, he's man, at a wedding. Know? That's right. Yeah. They are. Everybody, I mean, the last right one right I went to was five, only because it was in Mexico, so the vacation slash, you know, we didn't spend right. that much time with, with the family. I mean, we spent, a, like, five days, but the rest of the time we are in Mazatlan, so. so that was fun. So, Oh, uh, God bless Mazatlan. <laughs> so, yeah, so, it's been a few couple weeks. Well, we should, we should, re, we should do our new, we should do our new intro. We should do our new intro. Hey, everybody. Welcome to TFG Radio, a Helldivers 2 podcast. <laughs> That's if you had your say. I'm not going to lie. This will probably be a short episode because uh, we have to spread <laughs> democracy. <laughs> Goddamn right we do. <laughs> and defeat the perfidious I mean, automatons. I mean, my, my internet connection is strong enough that uh, I can just do a little view of this. Oh, God, this is... <laughs> Mine is not, which is why I am off video. <laughs> this is the benefit of having two PCs. I have a PC up here, and I have the PC down here. There you go. Not just three screens, everybody. It's actually two separate PCs. I'm happy on the you. rare occasion when we do stream a game. It comes in handy. Yeah, I'm happy for myself. <laughs> and isn't that what matters at the end of the day? It is. It is what matters at the end of the day. All that matters is the spread of democracy. Really. So, so what's what's happening in the world of uh, Games Workshop, Adam? Uh, we, we can we can lead off with that. <laughs> a, a crime's been committed. <laughs> I I heard it was mass murder. Is what I heard. Uh, is that rumor it, true? It was. Uh, if those of you have been paying attention, in general, not just in 40k, you'll know that uh, GW has committed. Uh, war crimes by getting rid of basically against Stormcast Eternals. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, if you if you have heavily invested in a Stormcast Eternal, <clears throat> I have news for you. <laughs> Bad news for you. Like, the Stormcast well, Eternals have essentially been genocided. <laughs> oh, sort of. Yeah, yeah, it's it's sort of. It, sort of. That's one way to put it, I guess. I mean, well, if your whole they're, army is they're just losing a uh, legend. <laughs> well, it's it. Most of those models will get refreshes, right? So it's different listen, than like listen to this of guy chaos. shilling for no, no big corporate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to, I have to, works who are just I have to time stamp this. Eight twenty PST. Danny said they'll be getting refreshes. All right, you may continue, Danny. <laughs> Most of the Stormcast <laughs> stuff will. I'm sure some of it will go to the wayside, but you know, most of that stuff, like the Liberators, they've already shown the refresh to. Um, so they're just going to update the models. Because uh, I think people forget when Age of Sigmar first dropped, a big complaint about the Stormcast was that they were like ugly. They were too boxy. They were too um, square-shaped. And they redone the model line to make them a little more slim, uh, mm. a little more dynamic. And so mm. I think this is when they're just going to be like, okay, well, pretty much all those boxy models are going away and going to be refreshed, at least most of them. But a lot of Stormcast models, like a lot of them are being discontinued, which is crazy to think I'm, about. Uh, I'm going to have to press X for doubt. It's a lot of characters. Pretty much any. Yeah. It's It's a lot. It's it's like that meme. It's all gypsy stuff action. It's that gypsy yeah, meme. It's a lot. <laughs> I see I see a lot of stormcasts going into legends. 
Oh my god, it's a lot. <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot of Stormcast. Jesus, that's a lot of Stormcast in the Legends. <laughs> I mean, it is. It's, I love uh, the gypsy meme. I think more models, more specific models got Legend in Stormcast than some other factions have models entirely. Yeah. Oh, that's what they do with Space Marines in 40k. Like, more things in Space Marines got legended than some factions had models, period. Yeah. So, it's, it's, uh, I mean, this is, again, Stormcast, that sucks. Although, you can, and Stormcast have an easier time doing some minor conversions to be like, oh, these are this now, than like Beast of Chaos. So, it's like, okay, go play a whole different game. Yeah. You know, or Savage Orcs. Yeah, okay, go play that's, a whole different game now. Whoa, whoa, that's whoa. Don't bullshit. skip ahead, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Don't skip ahead on the murder spree. That's the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stormcast. One genocide at a time. <laughs> One genocide at a time is as much as we can handle to discuss. So John and I were before you came. It's back, funny. John and I were talking about how um, yeah. it's it seems like, and John mentioned the Space Marines getting getting kind of the same treatment. Is this a result of? GW pushing the Stormcast to be like the, the I guess AOS's version of Space Marines in regards to like the poster boys. And yeah. John John had a I mean, one. but Yeah. I mean the problem is the sp- so if you wanted the Sigmar bros, the Sigmar Marines, right? To be the Space Marines of Age of Sigmar, you needed to sell it properly. Like, the reason Space Marines are the ones everybody want to play is because Space Marines are the champions of humanity in Warhammer 40k, right? Like, everything is terrible, everything sucks, but it's okay because we have these amazing champions who are, like, on our side. But that's not really what the Sigmarite guys are, as far as I can tell. Like, are they are they quote unquote the good guys? Yeah, more or less. I guess, I mean, but they're not like human, as far as I can tell. They like used it's not to be. quite the same thing. Yeah, like they used to be. So I guess it's similar, but like they're not sold as they're not sold the same way Space Marines are as like the champions of humanity. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I so, mean, I... I I just think that it's not a one for one. It doesn't really work that way, and you can't force it. I mean that's a you big know? thing. Like they're, f- I feel like it's also kind of forced, mm-hmm. and you really you just can't force it. It's yeah. you you have to build it up if you're starting from scratch. Like most people coming to Warhammer 40k didn't come to it in Rogue Trader days. Yeah, and so they came to it with this idea that like, well, this is what the Space Marines are. They are literally the champions of of humans. Okay, cool, because that's the accepted lore, but. There's no accepted lore for Age of Sigmar because you got rid of the old world and rebooted your entire thing. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing is that Space Marines kind of became what they are organically, where yeah. people are like, wow, these things are fucking cool. Look at that. Right. Because right, they're very archetypal. And the yes. Stormcast as like these, you know, demigod knight champions, yes. honestly, isn't as archetypal because it is so much broader. Right, like right. every fantasy game has, like you know, the super cool yeah. armored knights, yes. and they weren't they distinct enough that. to be like these guys are amazing. It's not. I mean, I think now Stormcast has some really amazing models, and some I actually like them quite a bit. Um, as my son had gotten obsessive over them, <laughs> um, and there's some models that I'm like, these guys are freaking legit. Like these look yeah, some really of them are cool. cool. But that's once they like try start moving away from the generic knights until like they ride fucking dragons. Yes, okay, that's which is cool. cool. Right. Which is cool for sure. Everybody ride likes things that rides dragons. They've got choke <laughs> they've got like, you know, little griff dog things that hang out yeah. with them. That's, that's why cool. despite the fact that the Targaryens suck, they're still everybody's like favorite. Yeah. They ride dragons. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There'd be dragons. Yeah, I, I just yeah. It's forced. It feels forced, and it, and it can't be forced. And if you are going to try to force it, you've got to do a really good job of selling it, which they have not done. And I'm sorry, but like legending the entire line, and then also legending all of Beastmen and stuff, why should anybody buy into Age of Sigmar as a long-term, this-is-cool-lore hobby stuff if at any given moment 
you're going to scrub it out of existence. Yeah, I mean, it, it's one of those things of the game's only been out like eight years or something yeah. like that. Yeah, like, you can't be scrubbing even... stuff out of existence after eight years. Yeah. Like, what do you, it's just, what are they doing? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, 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 I agree. Don't with the, disagree. The I mean, it, it doesn't, ha it doesn't resonate the same as Space Marines do, I don't think. No. I don't know why, for me personally. And I think whoever. No, go ahead, John. Keep going. Oh, I was just gonna say I don't know why. For I was I, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I said I don't know why for me personally, but but even seeing them from the beginning, I mean, you kind of knew they were like fantasy space marines essentially, but they just didn't resonate right the same way like the space mm -hmm. marines do. I mean, I don't know if they're supposed to be bigger in the way space marines are bigger than normal humans. I I know they, they have are. otherworldly feel because of the way they're made which is kind of cool yeah. the fact that they lose their memories over every time they're reforged is okay i get it but it just never just didn't appeal you, to you know what and i think part of the problem is anybody can come to warhammer 40k and see it and see a space marine and you're like i kind of know what that is mm -hmm. right it's something that is from whether it's Starship Troopers through StarCraft, mm. through Warhammer 40k being part... Like, you yeah. see it and you know what it is. If you see a giant fucking, like, Sigmar dude... Are, are you... A Stormcast Eternal? Are you going to know what it is? Might like, think it's a the, knight. The That's GW the events team has giant space marines they take everywhere. Right. They don't have giant Sigmar dudes they take everywhere. And, and that is not because the game isn't popular... Like, the, the Age of Sigmar grew faster at LVO this last year from the year previously than any other game. Yes. So, like, it's popular. The problem is, like, if you want a Stormcast to be that thing, it, that's fine, but it takes time. And legending the entire range, almost, is like, what are you doing? It, like, defeats the purpose. It does. Yeah. That'd be like if, uh, you know, ten, eight years after Rogue Trader, they're like, we're getting rid of tactical marines. Right, right. They didn't do. They didn't do that for thirty years. Yeah. The tactical squad was the iconic space marine thing for forever, and that was, I think, the reason why they kept Terminators, because Terminators are so iconic. Yeah. You couldn't get rid of them. I think we discussed this like a couple of years ago. Like, you can't legend Terminators the yeah, way. Yeah, I think we discussed squad. it when it first happened. Right. Because, like, you just can't. And so with, with Sigmar, it's too young. Uh, you, you, if you want to build it, you got to build it. you got to do it right. Like, you've got to get the lore, and you've got to get the people who are writing the books. Like, it's got to be bought into by everybody. Like, it it takes time. I think, you, and you can't take it for granted because, like, everybody knows what a space marine is when you see it. And even if you don't know what it is, you kind of look at it and you go, yeah, I kind of know what that is. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty, that's pretty freaking cool. Whereas, like, a Age of Sigmar dude, it's like, okay, it's a knight with a halberd. Yeah, you know what? The the new one with the new paint scheme appeals to me more than the gold. And the gold. I think that might be part What's of the new paint scheme? I don't think I've seen it. Uh, the one where it's basically looks like an old school knight. It looks, the, the new, uh, it looks more like an old school knight. Like silver? Yeah, that silver one. Huh. We talked about it a little bit. He has like a was it an episode little, I was little on? nose guard. It looks more like a knight as opposed to like a death mask, which is what some of the kind of which is what the uh, sure. Stormcast kind of remind me of their their faceplate. Yeah, they they were the the Blood Angels death masks. Yeah, which is why they make great conversions for Blood Angel players. <laughs> <laughs> you know, saying is all. I'm just saying is all. Uh, they also got they also got rid of a bunch of the scheme and stuff, but that's. Expected since they're coming out with a Skaven range for uh, with the new yeah Skaven. they're refreshing it so yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, like Danny mentioned the bone splitters yeah. are going away but that's all um, savage savage orcs from the old world uh, 
Slaves of the Darkness, there's a few models, but not too much. No, there's a ton. There's all of like the uh, Warcry cult, like Warbands are getting Legend. And people had a lot of those because they were, some of them were really good. Like really good um, chaff yeah, compared units. Compared to Stormcast, I'm not seeing a lot. It's hard. Yeah. I mean, there's eight, there's 11, 11 models that they have listed for Sleeves of Darkness. They're, and plus, like Danny said, Twitter. they're all, they're all from Warcry. Yeah, don't you need to spend more time on, on Twitter, my friend. <laughs> so I don't know what does that mean for I don't know what that means for Warcry or or what. I, I, I yeah, actually I don't know. I mean, I think it's more of just they uh, are just not living. They might be living. trying to just to they're just not going to make Warcry. them anymore, or yeah, or they're Maybe. going to um, you never know make it very clear that like war cry and the aos bleed doesn't happen because that was when war war cry came out that was the big thing of like hey all these models we use will be available in age of sigmar right. and i think the design studio realized like oh that's a fucking problem yeah. <laughs> oh no bro this is a big problem dude. <laughs> this is a big fucking problem and then uh all the beasts of chaos uh, we can't possibly have that uh, all the pieces of chaos are going basically. Four pieces of chaos. We even got a new model, like yeah, they got a new model like six months ago too. Which one, beast? Who beasts? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, beast of chaos. They got like a new beast lord, like six huh. months ago. How typical. Hey, this is brand new models for a faction we're about to get rid of. Yep. <laughs> Didn't they do the same thing with space marines? I feel like they did the same. Uh, thing no, but they do that with the remember they do that with the codexes. <laughs> Here's right, codex, right. like three months before the new Hey, here's a new codex. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys. Yeah. By the, by the way, bros. And then and then they list a bunch of like forge roll stuff that you can't yeah. you can't really get anymore. So. Being legended. I mean, some of it makes sense. Uh, other others, like John mentioned, it, it kind of like it makes you not want to build an army or collect an army because you don't know what's going to be around in like three no. to six years. Absolutely not. Right. Yeah, it's pretty like there's rough. There's literally like no point. You don't know what's going to happen. How how are you supposed to start a collection? Like I guess if it's just competitive play, sure, because like you can whatever you sell it. Like if it was the old days when I bought armies and then sold them as soon as they were no longer competitive, sure. But like yeah. it, the release is too fast now. It's too expensive now to do that, like legitimate like it's legitimately too expensive to do that now. For most players. Right. I mean, it is for me. I've, I've been priced out of being able to do that, so. It's yeah, just, that, and the fact that, that, that makes they... It, it makes know, it difficult. The follow-up art of like, hey, you can your, be your beast in Old World. It's like, well, what if I don't want to fucking play Old World? <laughs> I don't want to play Age of Sigmar. Right. <laughs> I want to play Age of Sigmar, because you sold me on Age of Sigmar, because you got rid of Old World, and you created Age of Sigmar, <laughs> and so now that's the game I want to play, because that's the one that you created. Mm. If yeah, if I had been a fantasy player who switched to Sigmar, I'd be fucking pissed. Yeah. I would be. Because like you 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 were duped. I mean, there's a few social media posts of people being like, you know, when I had to rebase my Beasts of Chaos army yep. from f to go to AOS, I didn't think 8 years later I'd have to do the same thing back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, luckily there's yep. it, there's plenty of uh 3D STLs. To... Bingo. But still, it's it's the same. The... It's just I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Uh, it's just weird. Like, why make why who who makes this these decisions? <laughs> They're really bad decisions. And, and yeah, and, and universally, it, it seems like a, a lot of from what I've seen on on YouTube and, and well, I don't go to Reddit very often, but on YouTube and some of the other social media stuff. I don't know very few people that are like, hey, this is great. Most of the people are right. just like, this is hell? stupid. Why are we doing this? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think the only thing I've seen that's in any way praiseworthy of the decision is that the legending doesn't technically happen until next summer, until yeah. summer 25. So at least they're like not just doing this out of nowhere. And it's like, hey, guess what? As of now, it's like, okay, you have a year. Before yeah, they, they this learn their, to really happen. You have a year to prepare for the apocalypse. 
Yeah, yeah. basically. It's always nice to give everybody time yeah. to prepare for the apocalypse. The giant asteroid is coming, so get ready for it. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, I prepare. I prefer to not know and just get and just die one day. <laughs> That's just me, though. I think I want to know, just so I can do what I want to do right before. Like I Steve, think like Steve most... Buscemi's character of yeah. taking out all that money. Yeah. Right. But then still surviving. <laughs> Yeah, that's the worst. I think the most realistic thing I've ever seen in terms of like apocalypse movies or whatever is the idea that like you don't tell the masses because they're gonna go freaking insane. Oh yeah, right. that's that's yeah, right. I still want to. That's know. the most realistic thing I've ever seen in those movies. I, st- I would still want to know. I Steve Buscemi. Yes, I Steve Buscemi that, and then probably survive because of it. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. It'd be a Jehovah's Witness end of the world. Oops, my bad. <laughs> five more years, guys. <laughs> wow. We swear, five more years. It'll happen next time. It'll happen in the end of five more years. For sure. For sure next time. Yeah, for sure next time. Oh, we were wrong about five years? All right, this is bad for business, everybody. Uh, 20 years. Add 20 a couple years. zeros to that five. Please keep giving us your money. 20 years. I don't know how we got on this tangent, but I, I don't know. <laughs> we started talking about the end of the world, <laughs> and uh, because our, we were talking about like, do, would you want to know that everything's getting legendary, oh, yeah. or just like have it be done? In this case, I'd want to know. In the end of the world, though, yeah, this so. is the end of some people's worlds, though. Some people really? care an awful lot, and if you're one of those people and you're listening to this, you should reassess your life choices. <laughs> Wow, we're on a roll today. It's only been like TFG years. Radio. We bring you the truth, no um, matter how harsh it is. <laughs> Look, you're the one who wanted me on the show. <laughs> True. But yeah, so so like, I get all that, but still, it's, it's it hurts. And, and yeah, it's a it's a tough pill to swallow. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like the War Scrolls and some of the other things with the new AOS is, is similar to 40k. So. I know Danny's always trying to get us to play. It's ba- it's it looks like 4.0 is going to be even closer to the way 40k and 10th is now. I gotta like, say, I'm pretty happy I never got into Age of Sigmar now. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> well, if you get in now, it John, you have that eight years. Well, because yeah. originally I wanted to do the Stormcast. Oh. Oh, yeah, you you lucked out then. And, and, and I'm pretty happy I didn't do that, because then now I'd be really pissed. I'm happy I never got into uh, Beast of Chaos Fantasy, and I'm happy I never got into <laughs> Wage of Sigmar. <laughs> I'll just stick with 40k, where I've sold all my armies too fast for them to matter about them being <laughs> legended. Um, it looks like we are getting the Night Lords and Mandrakes box soon. Those go up. I think they already went on pre-order. I can't remember. Night Lords. Yep. Night Lords have and, their own and box. What? It's for Kill Team. And Mandrakes? Yeah, I'm not worried like, about it. Like Drukari? Drukari yep. Mandrakes? Yes. In this economy? <laughs> okay. Well, Night Lords make more <laughs> sense, only because they have their own uh, unique look compared to some of the other Trader Legions. Yeah. No, Night Lords make sense. And Space Batman's always been popular for reasons passing understanding. <laughs> Which is funny because I'm a big Batman fan, but I'm not a Night Lords player. <laughs> I'm a Superman fan. You would be. But I do appreciate the fact that Batman is the person who would beat Superman. Like, hands down. I Anybody would... who's a Superman fan who claims that, oh, that's so unrealistic that Batman would... No, Batman would absolutely beat Superman. Well, there's that, there's that that's Justice because League Batman episode. don't fuck around and he won't go into He does fight. not. Yeah. Danny is right. The what? <laughs> He just doesn't go into a fight that he... The Batman just doesn't go into a fight against someone like Superman unless he absolutely has oh. four different plans of this yeah. is how I will kill you. Yeah. Well, he does not F around either. Because although he's like, he doesn't kill people, he will absolutely kill Superman. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the I, think Justice he gets, the... I think he gets around it because he's not people. <laughs> he's an alien. An illegal alien. He's an alien. He's not people. Um... There he is, is the, right. Nobody invited him here. Did he ever the, actually immigrate properly? There is the Justice League 
uh, cartoon episode where uh, Batman's file yeah. on how how to kill every Justice League member mm-hmm. gets leaked out. So, yep, he has a plan yes. for everybody. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. I think it's like a short movie. Yeah, I can't remember. What, I don't know if it's a if it really episode. Is. It's an episode, or it, yeah, if it's a movie. It's fantastic, but it's it's really good. They even made fun of that in one of the. They made fun of that in one of the newer comics where it focuses more on a uh, Superman's kid and Batman's kid. Oh yeah, um, and where they're talking and they're like, it's like, oh yeah, well, uh, what are you going to do for your dad's birthday tomorrow? It's like, how do you know it's my dad's birthday? And you know, this is Superman's son being like, my dad has everybody's birthday on his calendar, <laughs> and uh, you know, Damian Wayne looks around, it's like. Oh, my dad just have everyone's weakness in a yeah. file somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, uh, we Absolutely. did have a Depticon a couple weeks ago. Uh, I forgot who the winner was. The Depticon. Uh, they, once again, right. they they disqualified someone for not having his for someone not having the minimum paint requirement into their top 16 cut and but their minimum paint requirement is a minimum score on their rubric and of course okay. they, they complained and everybody made fun of them because their army wasn't painted the way it was supposed to be <laughs> right like your Amy's army's not painted so too bad um like what do you want but the big thing about adepticon for me when i watched it on stream was the fact that they actually had like actual terrain yeah, they had the GW train. There you go. Oh, GW it's setups. no longer Planet Bowling Ball? No. It's all GW setups. Um, it was somewhat Planet Bowling Ball only because of, I think they used the setup that has a lot of open area in the middle. I forget which one that is. Um, mm. and so that's and not fi- Planet Bowling Ball. That's Planet Alleyway. <laughs> so in the finals, it was uh, it was uh, favored towards one army. And that player won. So it was... Yeah, I, I saw that. I watched part of that. I was like, wow, okay, so this <laughs> game's over. Cool. And I, I think it went off... Uh, How did that guy win all of his other games on that layout, though? That's my question. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it may also depend on... It depends on the mission, also. There's a lot of variables on that. I mean, sure, but also... So. I'm, I'm so, I am sorry I missed it, because I actually, when I went last year, it was a lot of fun, just in terms of the event itself. Not necessarily... The tournament was fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, they do. They don't. They do. They don't do active judging, which is an issue for me, anyways. So, and that, so if you walk by and you see an issue, you can't do anything about it. Technically, no, not unless the player says something. And if the player oh, doesn't know, they're not going to say anything. So that's the that's the problem. So they encourage active cheating. Y- no. Yes? Question mark. I guess. They encourage active strong. They they encourage active strong arming. Sure, why not? So, I mean, I would actively. I would still go back and judge. Encouraging I mean, players it, it, to be allowed to strong arm their opponents. I don't know for sure, but I it probably did the bite them in the butt over the course of the weekend a couple times. But you rule breaking son of a bitch. <laughs> you were told so, expressly not to do that, and yet you did it. So that that was this this past weekend, uh, or not two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago. I think it was the weekend after our last episode. Pretty sure that's what it was. Okay. So. Nice. But other than that, it, I think it went it went pretty fairly well. Team tournaments it was always fun. So. Right. Diff- different ways. There's different team tournaments are good. Team tournament. I, and most people prefer the team tournament over the singles. I mean, that's the big thing there. The team. That's what they hang their hat on. Draw right. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're hanging their hat on. Right. Which is cool. I mean, it's good to have something that's yours. They, they, you know? they always have a lot of um, a lot of other stuff it going good on. It's good to claim something as your own. A, just a tournament. So, so I, I would, I'd always recommend someone go to that event at least once if they've never been. It's usually that one, LVO and Nova are the three I usually suggest. But if they want a more complete... Uh, Con- like convention experience as complete experience yeah. the tournament. So. But, um, so that went on next one is I believe for us uh, BAO if anybody watched the yes. new uh, front, uh, signals from the front line with their new format 
they'll know that BAO is switching to a fixed uh, terrain format. Uh, we're still working on that, but Yay. just know that the terrain will be fixed. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that uh, the onus will still be on the players to fix that fixed terrain. Because I, I don't want to go to uh, like 100 <laughs> tables and fix all that terrain. I mean, why not? That's what we do with the GW events. Okay, well, that's GW. Have fun with that. You just create the, you just do it in the morning for the one, and then like you only switch one time. Yeah, but we're not, we're not, I don't think we're, we're using the switch GW one time. Terrain. I think we're also using the, the uh, frontline terrain. Oh, yeah, you have the multiples, yeah. you have multiple setups. Yeah, that makes yeah. it more difficult for sure. Yeah. It, it, okay, it gives you some variety in terms of the, the terrain you play on, so it's not like, like the one thing I did not like mm -hmm. about the GW event is the fact that it's the same terrain at every table. So having it be different. Well, it's different. It's different styles. Sure, John. Like one's orky, and then you got a, you got another one that's like uh, mechanicy. Right. And you got one that's like so you got a couple that's like city fighties, and some of them have like some snow. Yes. Look, sure. I'm not hearing a lot of party loyalship from you. <laughs> from me? <laughs> yeah. The hell, you bastard. It's a uh, it, no. We do have uh, there'll be a variety because, as everyone knows, we we do have the uh, what is it called? Urban Decay, the Sisters Table, and the GW Table. Basically, I think they call it the Match Play Table. Fair enough. Uh, we'll be ha we'll have we'll still have those three same tables, but they'll just be fixed terrain. And, and once we have that settled, we'll, we'll send it out to everybody for in the player packet. So hopefully that'll be out soon. Uh, that's at the end okay. of May. Apparently, it's already sold out. So if you haven't bought your ticket for VAO, just get on the What? Board. It's already sold out, John. But I was going to go. No, you weren't. I wasn't uh, going to go. They they moved VAO. When VAO was in the summer, I never missed one of them. When it was in July. And they changed it. Yeah. yeah when so, it was in July, I always went. July or August. Yeah, now now it's back <clears> with, with KublaCon. So the ticket actually gets you, I think it gets you into the con itself, which is I'm excited about. I think oh, it's that's nice. The same hotel. So if I get there early enough... I'll oh, that's good, because it used to be in a different hotel. Yeah, right. last year it was in a different hotel, so I didn't get to go to the actual convention, which I was what I wanted to do. Right, right. So if I get in early enough on Friday, I could maybe go to check out the uh, the con itself and maybe hit the flea market. Cool. So, which get the flea market, get some sick, sick board games? Yeah, or something, I don't know. <clears throat> you never know what you find there. I'll probably get find a collector's something. edition, Settlers of Catan. <laughs> but uh, why you guys laugh? I like still losing time. We know uh, you, you guys gotta be such bastards. I went to one. I went to the one at the airport one, one time, and they had a one of the first games put out by Gary Gygax, but it was a a naval war game from like the seventies. He's the Dungeons and Dragons guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Him and uh, I forget the other guy's name. They created like the like he's like the Dungeons and Dragons guy, right? Yes, he is the one who. Created it. Wrote Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Yeah. But, and, He's but the reason that, why he, I play Baldur's Gate. Yeah, before yes. that he wrote a bunch of actually, <laughs> <laughs> he wrote a bunch of historical war games before that. Uh one's called Trap. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh Chainmail is his 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 uh is one of his main ones he's known for. Oh, I know I've heard of Chainmail, yeah. yeah. Chainmail is that one, and then uh, he did one called Tractics, which is I believe is a tank one. And then another one he did this naval one that I found. Which I did not buy because they wanted two hundred dollars for it, which is probably cheap for a Gary guy. Talking, you didn't buy it, so uh, rule set. Can't but... believe you didn't buy a game. You always buy games. What's the matter with you? You feeling okay? <laughs> not that day. I didn't have two hundred dollars on it. But oh, uh, fair enough. I mean, yeah, that's 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 definitely fair. Yeah, <laughs> hundred bucks is a lot. So. So you never know what you find at flea markets. I'm always looking forward to, to that stuff. Just like how I like going to yard sales. You could say it's like a box of chocolates. Huh? You never know what you're going to get. Oh, yeah. So you could say it's like a box of chocolates. Since I watched that movie with my kids the other night. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It holds up pretty well. Oh, really? You mean it's still bad? Wow. What? Oh, what? Wow. wow. I can't believe there's a movie that's like... Universally seen as good that Danny hates that I like. 
I'm more surprised that John actually. This saw is it. we are we are we are <laughs> flipping. I love the movie. There's plenty of movies you have not seen mm-hmm. that the rest of us have. Mm-hmm. It's a good movie. Well, I, I I enjoy it. I just can't believe that Dan doesn't like it when everybody else in the world does. No, not everyone in the world, clearly. <laughs> everybody else but you? I enjoy it. I, it is for, I mean, for what it is. And it gave us a series of um, restaurant chains. So. Oh, God. That's right. My kids do like that place. Every, right. time I have to go, every time I take my kids to the long... Every time I take my kids to the Long Beach Aquarium, they want to go to Bubba Gump, and it oh just pisses God. me off. I gotta take time. my kids there. I forgot that that was a thing. <laughs> we go every time we go to the Aquarium. I forgot <laughs> it was a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that it's movie. Too, That's why Danny hates the movie. That's I mean, fair. I mean, it doesn't okay. help. <laughs> if you don't like it, you don't like it. It's okay. You don't no, have to like okay. things. It's fine. Yeah. I'm the king of not liking things, so I get oh, yeah. it. If you do a whole episode of John's hatred of the Beatles. I mean, I don't hate the Beatles. I just don't uh, love them the way everybody else seems to. Yeah, because you hate them. Which I, I don't feel is unfair. Like, they are not that amazing. They're fine. <laughs> but they're not, like, super great. I'm just saying, well... I mean, all you gotta do is listen to "I Love You," yeah, 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 and you're like, okay. <laughs> well, maybe because you weren't uh, around at that time. It's a different time, then, John. Sure. Um, by right, different, we mean worse than yes. <laughs> so, as we prepare going forward with, uh, uh, for at least the tournament we're planning to go to, which is. Champions Cup. I'm still gathering my the pieces for me, so I got like more plague plague marines and plague burst crawler and some other stuff. Danny, are you working on anything? Not right now. I haven't really had the time or impetus to paint, so I've just been. I have to work on a Tyranids list, like to try and figure out of. Play a good defender tiered list where you know if I lose it's not going to be by much, right. and I can beat most other lists. But then I have to figure out what that is and see if I need to actually paint anything because like ninety five percent of my tiered are painted. So okay, I think I have to paint a bunch of vehicles mainly. I have a couple guys, but I have about everything yeah. else I need. John, you're working on the Necron still. Vehicles would be good. I am. I actually did a little work on the other day. Let's hope, uh, oh my god, really? I know, I know. I was able to actually do some hopping. It's ridiculous. <laughs> what would happen? Oh, you mean like uh, nerf wise? Yeah, it's fine. I can always, I can always punt to knights. It's not a big deal. We don't have anybody on our team currently being like, I'm taking knights. So, oh yeah. Well, I'm still taking get death guard. As soon as I got to take care of knights, I'm like, cool. I'll take imperial knights. Yeah. Me. Still taking death guard on my end. Like, so. it, doesn't, it literally doesn't matter. You still uh, again, like I mentioned before, it all depends on what happens with the uh, annual update and with uh, when the Chaos Space Marine yep. comes out. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'll, we'll look at, and see how that goes. Fair. I'm not too too worried about that. Um, yeah. There was one other thing. Oh, <laughs> I only mentioned this because I thought it was hilarious. Uh, Adepticon also had the Golden Demo, Demon Awards, which for those that don't know, it's basically a painting, uh, some of those were really amazing. Yeah, for those that don't know, it's a painting competition. They always have Golden Demon Awards, don't they? Not a, no, they haven't had it at Adepticon in forever, at least before COVID. Oh, that's weird. And I thought they did. I, I only bring this up because we always have this discussion about uh, chat. Uh, the, the, uh, the AI chat program and, and things like that. So apparently one GPT, of the winners, one of the GPT, gold winners yeah. not the Slayer Sword winner, but mm-hmm. the gold winner had an AI background, AI drawn background, and people were upset about it. So I, I don't know. People know, get upset about weird stuff, so whatever. Yeah, I don't know what if that matters to me or not. <laughs> Enough for me to get upset. Yeah. Hey, you know what I used AI for today? I used ChatGPT for? What? 
we got this thing at our school's dinner dance and it was like uh alcohol in a basket and a gift card to a restaurant and like the signature cocktail for the restaurant right okay but they gave you the list of ingredients but they didn't tell you the proportions right so in chat gpt i was like hey can you make me a cocktail with that uses vodka a lemon rose water and um honey and it gave me a really good recipe for the cocktail oh. <laughs> Because oh, they didn't give you the proportions of the things. They just gave you the ingredients. That's weird. It was great. ChatGPT is amazing. <laughs> uh, my students seem to think so until they get their Fs, but that's fine. Well, I'm not <laughs> using it for that. I'm using it uh, to make uh, a drink for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using it for what God intended. That's <laughs> yeah, true. That's fair. Did, that's fair. Did, uh, but I, in terms of... Um, and I can't I'll have to find the image when it when it comes up. But basically, that like I said, they use the AI to create the background that they use for the miniature. That, so that like they painted the miniature, but the background that they used to display the miniature was used using the AI program. And I don't know why that makes people mad. because uh, I mean it's an art. Yeah, it's essentially an art competition, and someone is using as part and of their competition something that yeah. they didn't make themselves. And by the nature of AI models that we have, again, we call them AI, but they're not because they're not actually intelligent. They're just uh, no, language just, models. Uh, yeah, right. Um, you know, like they're so they can only plagiarize. So they're just remixing, you know, thousands of different images based on you know how this thing processes through that information to make it so it's not just that this person didn't paint it or didn't draw it it's that the actual drawing is just a composite of other people's work right right so yeah. i can see from an artistic point of view because this is literally an art competition of how that can you know how that can go down wrong for people you know what i mean yeah yep. i get it i also don't care <laughs> right <laughs> well that's, yeah for me like, i totally understand your things. arguments guys i just don't care I you know what I want that. AI to do? I want AI to do the laundry. Yep. I want it to do my dishes. <laughs> I want it to fold the laundry. I want it to do the things that I don't want to do so I can do the things that it's being designed to do. Mm. You know? I want it to make my job easier, which in many ways it has, so that's good. Yeah, I mean... But until it can do the dishes and fold the laundry, stop talking to me. Kind of one of those dystopian things that... uh. AI basically uh, makes all the art now, and uh, we do all the menial labor when it was right. supposed to be the other way around. Oh, right. Well, that's always been the uh, broken promise of technology in history. <clears throat> technology yeah. is supposed to make your life easier so you have more free time. In reality, it means that you can do more things. You can be more, quote-unquote, productive. Yeah, you're, you're, you can do more things for your job instead of do less things for your job and have more free time yep. because they're not going to give you more free time, people. They will never give you more free time. You have to take it. <laughs> free you time is and the antithesis of what they want to give you. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, I I see a lot of groups now are starting to like ban AI generated artwork on their like art Facebook groups. Yeah, things like that. So I get it. Especially like how Danny said. But it's just going to get harder and harder to catch, so good luck, people. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pain. It's a bit of a pain, but... Look, when AI can paint my ar build and paint my 40K army for me, nah. well, you better believe I'm going to let it paint and build my 40K army for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's tedious. Yeah, right. The definition of tedium. Um, other than that... Um... I can't think of anything else coming up. They did do a meta watch for Adepticon, which no. wasn't much of a, much ado about nothing really because they didn't. They mainly just talked about Adepticon, not really the meta about it. Just like, hey, everything's great. All these different armies. So they did a meta what now? Exactly. They called it a meta watch, but they really didn't really do one. They just talked oh. about Adepticon. More or less what it was. Didn't they say there was going to be another balanced data slate soon? Nah, I think most of us, I think most people don't expect one until uh, 
June, probably. Like the annual one. June? It's only like two months away. We're already in April. Oh man, June's only two months We're away. already a third of the way in the year. Goes by fast. Yeah, I'm <laughs> happy about this. <laughs> no, sir, I don't like it. Time flies. <clears throat> Pass. Yeah, Let's skip so... it. We're gonna skip it this year. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, people have noticed that some of the combat patrols have gone missing, uh, which we assume means that missing no are coming out. I think yeah, it's the. I, call it a search party. I think it's the um, search party. I think it's orcs. The orcs and the. Uh, Custodes, which are the next two, I believe, coming out. Hmm. I'm not 100 percent sure. Works and custodes, huh? Yeah, you know those top tier armies. Look what it talks about. So. But I don't think we have anything else going on. At least us. Still looking for a place to play. Not really. It's Tom yeah, didn't yeah. uh yeah, it's been a while. That's because it's been raining. We're gonna blame we Tom outside. and not the fact that the store closed that we used to play at. Yeah, well, no, no, that. Yeah, and we so know whose fault it is. We know whose fault it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tom's fault. I blame Tom. I am not yeah. gonna blame Tom for anything. Nope. Absolutely not. This is definitely not the fault of him. Was because it's a place to play. Well, if anyone wants to know, they can ask me because. Unfortunately, I know why. It just nah. makes, me, it makes me depressed every time. Or it makes me depressed and mad. I think it makes me more Deeth mad. with rage. Yeah. Deeth <laughs> with rage. Makes me angry every time I think about it. I, am I can't in the even go into that part of the city, place, man. So hopefully have news on that soon. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, hope so. Soon, TM. Um, it would be nice. I, if, someday, someday, someday. If you have been looking, noticed on my screen, my background looks a little different uh, because my brother-in-law has moved out or is in the process of moving out. <laughs> he's definitely not happy about this at all because he's mentioning it on his podcast. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that and the fact that I took over his room literally seconds after he left. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Immediately, if not sooner. When he told me he was moving out, I did take measurements that same, like, within an hour. Of, uh... <laughs> nice. Well done, sir. Well done. You got my seal of approval. Salty John, seal of approval. Than, than, uh... I am still... Uh, my desk is still in the closet, although you can't tell because there's no closet doors. So, oh, that's fair. It's a bigger closet, yeah. too. <laughs> But uh, hopefully by... So then what are the computer screens next to you? That's my work computer screens. So so before, which I just realized when I was setting it up that my work computer screens are larger than my, the computer screens I used for home. Which is is hilarious because my work computer screens are the ones I bought myself. They're not from the company. So that's I, ridiculous. I know. I may have to switch them afterwards after the show. That's preposterous. <laughs> this should be rectified immediately, if not sooner. You so I do have are doing this. I, so I do have four screens. They're just for two different computers. Yeah. Okay. So before, when I was when I was downstairs, because I'm now upstairs in uh, my, my my new room, uh, the work desk was like next to to the right of my personal desk. Which is why you never saw it. So I would slide yeah. the chair back and forth between the two if I needed to do anything. But now it's at, it's at, it's at the same desk. Just it's, I just turn my chair to the right. And then uh, so that's my work screen. So it makes a weird sort of sense. Huh? I could be. That makes a weird sort of sense. Uh, it, wor- it works out for me. I did have issues in the past when, the, when I used... Uh, one screen when they were right next to each other, but uh, mm-hmm. this works a lot better because I have to physically turn and uh, to use to use whatever I need to use for work. So, 
but that that's what that is. So it's not too bad. I do will have to change the uh, screens because, like I said, I didn't realize I bought bigger screens for my work computer. <laughs> yeah, that's just not right, dude. Like, you can't do that to yourself. I know priorities, right? Like punishing yourself for no reason. Why are you prioritizing so work? Yeah, I feel I feel so like this I is not 1950s America. Your, your work does not pay you enough for you to prioritize. <laughs> <laughs> you, so, you, are, you are not a boomer. No, I am definitely not. So, so that's what I'm working on. Hopefully, by next uh, next episode, I'll have I'll have it all. I, I have to figure out what to do with the wall space, though. That's my only thing. So we'll see. Yeah, I'll be. I'll ha I'll have the move complete by probably by next by uh, next episode. In the next couple weeks, but in the meantime, I'll be working on that, working on the, nice. the Death Guard, some other things, getting ready for BAO as we get closer. So, and then uh, and then spreading democracy. But the, I mean, although this is a forty forty K podcast, spreading I think, democracy. I think uh, I think the big news for us as a, as a collective, especially for poor Danny, was well, maybe not poor Danny. I don't think Danny had any of his armies. Uh, or his son. Danny, your son has... Huh. has uh, he has a bunch of storm casts, including some of the stuff that's gone. So, But he's not going to care, right? No. Yeah. I mean, he I think, just likes bashing him around. So that's yeah, I think that's the big takeaway that a lot of people don't realize is that uh, it really only matters for match play. If your opponent's willing mm -hmm. to play with whatever the Legends stuff is, it should be fine. Or play count as or as proxies. Huh. Interesting, but I guess right. Yeah, it's still a, it's still yeah, a American kick in the nuts, fine. though. Whatever. Especially if you're you have a whole army based. Give me some dirty comments if you want. One chamber, or if one of the uh, chambers, or the, one of the ones that got right. Mined, which I think I've seen a couple posts about about that. So. Everything, everything I own is legend. Yeah. <laughs> so. Whereas it used to be good for the thing was legendary, but legendary apparently is good for bad work. In other games, legendary is good. Yes. <laughs> um, and although I got we're, legendary skins, forty k, you do not want to be legended. Although we are technically, we are mainly a forty k podcast. I think this warranted enough discussion, especially because it's Danny always wants us to play. Now, see, Danny, it's this this does not deal. want President John and I to play now. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. So, and and I mean, other than Adepticon, there really hasn't been much movement, at least on my end, for frontline the frontline stuff. Uh, in terms of uh, right, uh, one one announcement which I talked to John about before the show, and I haven't talked to Danny is uh, as ever, everyone knows or should know, we do have a, another podcast called Pod, Pod Save the Imperium, where we discuss some debate, some lore stuff. It's been a while since we put out the last episode, so we're moving that from its own individual um, podcast count. We're gonna I'm gonna transfer it all to YouTube, mm -hmm. so expect that. And if you're into a little bit of lore discussion and debate, you'll enjoy it. And as as if we may ever make any more content for that, we'll put it up on YouTube and with the TFG Radio channel. So make sure you like and subscribe to make sure you get that up uh, that uh, notification when we do upload that. Um, but I think that's yeah, I gotta get that sweet tonight. notification, bro. Unless Danny or John has anything they want to discuss, yeah. anything pertinent yeah. to wargaming, not necessarily to the world at large. No, I think we, uh, I think we covered it all. Democracy, <laughs> spraying democracy with held Okay, so I think that's it for tonight. For tonight, thank you everybody for listening. Uh, John, you have any last words? Words of encouragement. No. No. That's not characteristic. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> if you have, I'll leave you with if you haven't started watching Three Body Problem, you should. And if you didn't read the books, you should read those too. Uh, uh, book bored me. I got to be honest. It gets better. Book two and book three are better. Yeah, I'm not. No. Well, we'll see. Okay. It gets, it gets crazy as shit in a good way. Like, for too least crazy? Me, but it gets crazy as shit. Yes. No. Book three is was hard for me. Book three was hard for me, but I did finish it. Yeah, book one is 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 yep. uh, it's not it's not it's dry. Right spot. So maybe I'll tough it out and finish it. Weird. 
Danny? You should. And then watch the show. Danny and be nice uh, to each other. The usual. Just the usual. Yeah, nothing new. Uh, we'll be back <laughs> in a couple weeks. For new I think Tom will be back by then. I don't know. Depends uh he can get away from his family. He should be, yeah. Now with his tenth kid on the way. I think it's ten. <laughs> It could also be the 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 uh, total of the ages of all its kids combined. <laughs> they're bright. Yeah, that's possible too, right? Because they're all young. <laughs> but um, yeah. again, thank you everybody for listening. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and if you have any suggestions for, uh, especially for if we start doing the pod saving period or something, just let us know. And uh, good night, and have a pleasant tomorrow.